Yeah, it's kind of hard with these sticky traps catching things you didn't want to catch in the first place. <laughs> it might as well be a good tutorial on how to get harmless snakes out of glue traps. Hey everybody, I am headed out to Phoenix right now to go get a snake in a sticky trap. It looks like from the notes that Marissa has, I think it's a king snake. She's pretty freaked out, which is totally understandable. I mean, it just because it's a king snake doesn't mean people are immune to, to phobias. There's nothing wrong with being scared of snakes. I think a lot of times people in our sphere give people a hard time who are scared of snakes. We really don't have control over phobias and there is nothing wrong with being scared of something. Uh, being scared of snakes. It's a matter of what you do with it and this homeowner is already doing the right thing uh, to have the snake be rescued and removed rather than just, you know, the snake getting the shovel. That's very, very honorable and that cannot be discounted at all. All right. Is it still there? This is not for me, man. <laughs> Let's see. And it's in this. Okay. In, oh, in this one? Okay. Let me see. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's right here. It's, it's, it probably got a little bit more stuck. Hey, buddy. Yeah. Yeah, I can. What I'll do here is I'll just, um, so you don't have to just sit and wait for me to get it out, I'll just take it and I'll get it out of the trap. Yeah, it's kind of hard with these sticky traps because you end up catching things you didn't want to catch in the first place. Okay. Here's our king snake here. And now... We need to go get something to get this guy out. Okay, so after thinking about it for a while and looking for places for release and kind of planning uh, getting it out of the sticky trap with oil and everything, I have elected to kind of spend a little bit more time than usual. Usually when we do releases, we try to get it done as soon as possible. It is currently 111 degrees right now and the habitat where it came from is just burning hot. And so I'm thinking about the fact that I'm going to have to smother this thing with oil and coax it out of the trap. It's gonna be hot and it's gonna be stressed. And then after having struggled with this sticky trap for so long and then just dumping it out into habitat in 111 degrees, I just feel like that's going to be, uh, it's not gonna work. I'm going to cool it down. I'm going to get it out of the, the trap and I think I'm going to release at a later time just when it's a little bit cooler outside and I can make sure I can get a good release spot for it. So this thing is actually going to survive this encounter. Okay, so now I'm in a nice air conditioned room. I can do this and it might as well be a good a tutorial on how to get harmless snakes out of glue traps. Do not do this if you don't know what snake you're looking at. Make sure you know this is a harmless snake. If you don't know, then do not try this at home, okay? So he's all kind of crusty and stuff, so we'll kind of clean him up. These glue traps are not great. They do great at catching bugs and things, but it's a miserable passing and then you ended up catching things that you do not want to catch, like a king snake that's doing you favors, honestly. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm just kind of getting all this. The oil deactivates the glue. Where are you going? Nowhere, because you're trapped. So I'm just gonna let this set. It should start working immediately. Do not pull. Seen some terrible things online of people getting snakes out of these traps, and you do not need to pull. As you can see, I'm just kind of, I'm not even pushing this glue. I'm not putting any pressure. The oil is what's doing the work here. Just let it take its time. It's a lot easier to do. The business end is not quite so dangerous. As you can see, I'm just kind of 
massaging that out and it's doing pretty okay. The thing I don't want the snake to do is, here we go, got it. I don't want it to pull its own skin off. I know you're gonna comment about gloves, but this is olive oil and these are snakes and I'm gonna wash my hands afterwards. It helps if you have someone else kind of holding the snake. This is actually going a lot easier than a lot of them do. Okay, all right, he's free. And it's okay if I don't get every little speck of it off. I just figured I might as well get as much as I can off because when it sheds its skin, all of this is gonna come off. The big thing is just making sure, is the mouth sealed closed? Because I mean, it can't eat and it can't probably shed here. So at the risk of maybe getting a little nip, I'm gonna kind of massage this oil into it to make sure that that glue isn't keeping the mouth shut. And it looks like we're okay. The oil doesn't hurt it. You can use vegetable oil as well. But again, did you see I did not pull or yank or anything like that. I think I think the snake probably put more pressure than I did. Skin looks nice, there aren't any tears. I mean, there's a little bit, obviously there's some texture. There's a little bit of, of damage here, but it looks like the snake may be wanting a shed pretty soon. Looks like you're doing good. So I'm just gonna dry you off. It doesn't hurt to, you know, run a little bit of water on it. But what I might do is I might just get some diluted water with Dawn dish soap. Just kind of get a little bit of the greasiness off. Okay, the snake's gonna be okay if it's a little bit oily. But I'm just kind of getting a little bit of this residue off. Giving a snake a little bubble bath. Just kind of helping it along here. Okay, well, here he is. Or she, I'm not real great with king snakes, but if you're a king snake person, go ahead and let me know what you think. But it's doing all right. A little bit of a greasy feel to it, but I'm not really worried about that. Again, if once I just kind of dry them all out, this thing is in far better shape than it was earlier today when it was stuck in a glue trap, obviously. All right, it's been a couple days. I had the snake with me and it actually is doing awesome. It shed its skin when I had it after I gave it that bath and it is all glossy and nice and doing great. All right, buddy, back into some good habitat you go. It's nice and cool tonight. We got deep cover and it can reorient the best that it can. Awesome. I'm happy about the way that turned out. It doesn't always turn out great when glue traps are involved. And so happy that we were able to make it work. Mm -hmm. 